Hey, my friend. So I wanted to talk a little bit about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a tool that is really catching fire right now. A lot of people are using it, especially because at the moment I'm recording, it's free to use, but it is free only for open AI search purposes. They're the ones that actually created this tool, and they've also been responsible for creating some other similar tool. Chat GPT is a natural language processing tool that is basically allowing you to have human-like conversations with an AI or artificial intelligence chatbot. What that means is that you can simply ask it a question or ask it to do something, provide some instructions, and then it will spit out results based on what you ask if it has information and intelligence to be able to provide you with the outcome or the results that you're asking about. Now, this particular language model, the chat GPT, the reason why it's so popular right now is because it's fairly new in that it is based on something called the GPT-3 based language model. There's a lot of other artificial intelligence tools out there. As a matter of fact, I own probably about five of them myself, Pepper Type. Um, I don't have Jasper, but a lot of people are used to using Jasper AI. It's a subscription service. Pepper Type I got for a lifetime deal, Copysmith AI, Niches. There's a lot of different apps and tools out there. But ChatGPT has two things that are attracting people's attention right now. One is it's currently free while they're doing their research. And two, it's also super simple for you to speak to it just like you're speaking to a real human being. And based on that GPT-3 model, that's what makes that possible. So a couple of ways that you as a coach, course creator, or consultant might use this. You might use it in terms of asking it to come up with blog post topics, or you might ans ask it to answer simple Google style questions or to write copy for your next email or newsletter or to write creative stories or even your own bio that you can then tweak. But the one thing that I would definitely encourage you to remember is that it should not be that you just use chat GPT as the end game. It's a great starter tool, just like many of them are. It's a great way to get ideas to start with, and then you build on them yourself, right? You create or make sure you read and edit so that it still fits your personality, the way you speak, the way you write, and it is actually providing accurate information because this info that it comes back with is not validated, as they'll tell you on their site. So I'm going to open up the actual chat GPT tool. And I'm also going to share with you where you can find this. This is the link. When you go there, you'll be able to actually sign up for an account. Now, when I first tried to sign up for an account, it was super busy and it gave me an error message saying, hey, we've got a lot of traffic right now. We can't sign you up in this moment. So if that does happen to you, just pause and come back a little later and try it again. Set up a free account with a login and it will send you a confirmation that you are able to get in. And once you're in, you'll see this next screen that I'm going to show you now. All right. So this is the chat GPT dashboard. So I want to give you a really quick example of how you might use this. One of the ways that you might decide you want to use it, as I mentioned earlier, is to come up with topics. And frankly, this is one of the ways that I've been using it is to give me some ideas on tips related to my niche. So I'm going to use the topic or the theme of career coaching. How about that? So I'm going to test this by focusing on the topic of career coaching. If you're a career coach and you were looking for ideas on what to write about for your next five blogs, this might be an easy way to do that. So let's see. Share. No, give me 10 ideas for a blog about career coaching and you press enter and take a peek at what it's doing. It's writing a list of potential ideas. Now, the main thing you want to definitely be sure and you're clear about again is that you want to validate the responses that it's sharing and make sure this fits what you're into. What are you writing about? What are you talking about? Because you may want to switch a few of these up. But look, to give you some ideas, the benefits of career coaching for professionals at any stage of their career, how to choose the right career coach. This is pretty cool. It's pulling that info together from its knowledge base and then providing you with some outcome. So great starter ideas that you can then build off of. I actually came up with my own action guide 
that I have now loaded up into my new site redesign at streamlikeaboss.tv just by using ChatGPT. Now, again, this chat.openai.com is where you go to actually create your account. And I want to make sure that you know that right now it's free, but it's likely that they will have some type of subscription or other payment model in the future. Now, this does bring me to an article that I read, and I'm going to share it with you real quick here because there are some questions, right? We think about Skynet from the Terminator movies, if you're in my generation at least, or we think about AI possibly taking over in the Will Smith movie, iRobot. In that case, I think actually it was artificial intelligence that took over the robots and made them run amok, right? One of the things that I think a lot of people do have concerns about is, will this actually end up taking over jobs? Will it take away from people who were actually doing certain types of work? And I would just recommend that you think about it in this term. Anytime there's new technology, and there's often new technology these days being created more and more rapidly, it's going to create some potential takeover, right, for certain jobs, but it also creates opportunities for new jobs and new skills to be developed. So just because you don't choose to use it doesn't mean it will stop being used in all kinds of ways. I'm seeing it in almost everything. Artificial intelligence is really something that is... It's a train that won't stop. So you have to decide as a business owner whether or not you want to use it to your benefit and your advantage. And it's totally your call. I know people have a lot of concerns with privacy and other issues. We are living in an age where that's darn near impossible. So use at your own risk is what I want to say. But I'm also going to share with you this Jasper AI article. So if you go to jasper.ai, slash blog, you'll find this, or you can type in Google, chat GPT and Jasper. And what they're basically doing here in this article is making a reference to differentiators between why you want to pay for a monthly subscription versus using something like this open AI chat GPT. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I think that the main difference is When you use some of these paid for tools, what you'll find is that you actually have the ability to be able to get a little bit more organization. And I'll show you an example in a minute with the app that I use called PepperType. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of things that I think you want to definitely spend some time on reading. First of all, it's going to explain the difference between the two. It will talk about the business use cases that Jasper and other tools like it. So PepperType, which I'm going to show you, is similar. They're basically based on learning models that are used for business, whereas the OpenAI chat GPT version is very generic. Anybody can use it for any purpose, and it's not necessarily going to tailor your results to business focus, whereas these paid-for tools will do that. So you'll see that right here. There's some other things that you can read through on your own. It also asks the question about, will ChatGPT replace Google? And I think that Google has been on edge about some of the usage that they've seen with ChatGPT because it's gotten pretty popular very fast. The thing is, this is the point. If your AI written content is low quality and it's not helping people, it's going to get dinged in Google. So you still need to make sure you're humanizing it, which is what I've been saying the entire video talks about ethical implications, and it talks about the fact that basically, and this is a point that I definitely want to make, the tools itself are not evil. It's how they are used. It's the user of these tools that can have evil intentions, and that's with everything and anything. You can use a pickaxe to do positive things for construction, to build, or you can use it if you're someone who potentially is an evil person with ill intent. It's the same thing with these type of digital tools. So keep that in mind as you're making decisions about ethics. And honestly, I think there's a lot of good that can be done with this. So it's answering that question about, is it a good or bad thing? And this is just, again, like with anything, the most important thing is that you stay on top of your game as a business owner and be aware of risk right? Whether it relates to security, privacy, et cetera. If you're using information from your customers that have hired you and trust you, and you're using that 
and a chat tool, you want to make sure that you're doing due diligence to understand what that means and how it could impact the information that you're actually inputting into the system. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually pull up pepper type and I'm going to show you the difference. And here to me is what the differentiator really is as it relates to something like this free thing versus a paid subscription tool. I can't show you Jasper because I don't use Jasper, but I can show you the back end of my pepper type. So notice here in my pepper type, it's personalized, but more specifically, I want you to notice how it's giving me options for business specific types of categories. So it's saying, hey, what do you want to write today? I might want blog ideas or I want um, meta descriptions to add to each of my pages for SEO in my new site over at streamlikeaboss.tv. I might want to create engaging social posts. But notice the difference is the usability of this space versus you just writing in a line and hoping that you get back what you need. I like the idea that I can come in here and I can say, hey, I need blog ideas similar to what we just talked about. I'm going to say design your work. And I'm going to say I write tips for career coaches to elevate their brand online. Let's see what it pops up with. Is it going to give us some blog? Now, notice I'm not asking it in the natural humanistic language like we did with ChatGPT, which again, I think is one of those things that attracts people to ChatGPT, but it's still giving me some pretty decent results. Look, it's giving me titles that I can potentially use. Five tips for nailing an interview. Five things your resume is saying about you. How to be a great career. So again, these do very similar things, but just there's a different approach to each of them. You'll have to weigh how you want to use and if you want to use any of these chat bot type of tools, these artificial intelligence chat tools to, I'll say, enhance your own business efforts, your content that you're creating right now. It can save you time. It can help you to create much faster than what we've done in the past, but it still requires a human element. You still need to read and you still need to make sure you're writing and you still need to make sure you understand what content you're putting out there. So please, for goodness sakes, make sure that you are using these tools as a starting point but you still need to put your own business personality and your own human into the mix. All right, that's it for now. I hope that you'll come back and watch more videos and you can always find out when our live stream schedule is taking place by going to streamlikeaboss.tv. We go live each and every week at 8 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. We have special guests and we also talk about live streaming tips, strategies, and techniques to help you to serve more people sell more of your services online, and stand out. If you've got questions about this particular video, make sure you leave those in the comments or feel free to reach out and DM us. Again, you can visit us at streamlikeaboss.tv. Take care and we'll see you next time in the stream.